What's go, what's go, man? Let's get into it. I'm gonna make the video that no one else is gonna make, man. I'm gonna make this video that no one else is gonna make. Why Deshaun Watson is still elite. Now, before I get into this, someone in my comment section in my uh last uh video always asked me why I don't bring up Deshaun Watson's, you know, what's been going on off the field. You know what I'm saying? And my question here is, what's the point of bringing that up? I get the joke. Shout out to my boy Val. I don't know if he's watching. Shout out to my boy Val. He makes jokes and calls and makes fun of Deshaun. But honestly, he doesn't care what happened with Deshaun. I have no problem joking about Deshaun Watson, you know, off the field or whatever. But we need to get over what happened off the field. He's been found innocent. Nothing's happened. Nothing's happened. Why can't I just focus on football? And I just want to say this before we get into the video. I find it funny how certain quarterbacks, you know, get accused of something and they're looked at as great Hall of Famers. You know, they're looked at as, you know, you know, it was in his past. He made a mistake, two mistakes, three mistakes, two or three mistakes and bathroom stalls. And no one, you know, everybody just forgets about it. He's just a big cuddly bear now. He loves his, he found God and he loves his family and all this other stuff, you know, which, you know, if that's good for him, you know, if he found God and stuff, that's, that's great. But I just find it funny how people just sweep it under the rug for one play. I'm not going to mention him. <clears throat> Look at the screen. But for, with Deshaun, we know we have to throw him, we have to throw him uh, under the bus. You know, it is what it is. But as it goes for football, man, the Cleveland Browns beat the Baltimore Ravens yesterday, which I was talking, shout out to my boy Val once again. And I told him, don't be shocked if the Browns pull it out. The Browns are six and three. Defense is amazing. I made a week. I made a video about them a week ago, saying they could be Super Bowl sleepers, and they're looking like it. They're looking like it. They beat Baltimore. They beat Cincinnati. Who else did they beat? They beat the 49ers. They beat competitive. This is not like a Dolphins thing. And shout out to the Dolphins fans that have been rocking with me. But this is not like a Dolphins thing where they're beating up horrible teams. They beaten. They beat in some good teams. They beat in the Niners, who are going to the playoffs. They beat in Baltimore, who's going to the playoffs. They beat in the Bengals, who are most likely going to the playoffs, unfortunately. Missed the mark on that one. I mean, Cleveland is up there. Cleveland is up there. And when it comes to the Sean Watson, listen, look, I know when you look at the stats, and anybody who's a stat junkie is going to look at the stats and say he only has 902 yards, six touchdowns, uh, Three interceptions, a QBR 41.7, 23rd in the ranking. But let's look at his last few games. Let's just look at his last few games as if I can pull them up. Against Baltimore yesterday, 20 for 34, 200, over 200 yards, a completion session of 59, one touchdown, one interception, unfortunately, and took four sacks. That's the one thing that Sean needs to get better at. He needs to get better, get better at getting rid of the ball. He shut out the Cardinals with over 200 yards. Uh, how many touchdowns? Yeah, two touchdowns, no interception, a complete shoot session of 63. It only took one sack. In the and then in he didn't play in Indianapolis. He got injured again, which they won ironically, and he didn't play that well. Well, once again, I think he got injured in the first quarter. But then the last game after that, dude beat the Tennessee 27 to three for almost had 300 yards. He had 289, two touchdowns and a Q QBR of a, a completion percentage of 81 of 82. Actually, let's give Deshaun his credit. If this was any other quarterback, you guys would be saying it doesn't matter. Like that Prescott puts up the same numbers. Well, he wins, right? You know, I love Jalen hurts. He, I, I wouldn't say Jalen hurts is putting up better numbers, but Jalen hurts a wins a win. Mahomes, Burrow, Allen, a win's a win. But when it comes to Deshaun, no one wants to give him this credit. I get, I get, you know, it is what it is off the field, but at the same time, give him this credit. The dude is winning games. It's not like he's costing them games. Deshaun has some clutch plays. He took a horrible sack in uh in the game-winning drive and then threw a dot to Amari Cooper. Threw a dot to Amari Cooper. He's still making good plays. He's still uh, getting uh, getting rid of the ball on time. 
He's still making great plays. Still can he still has mobility, still making plays. Give Deshaun his credit. I mean, let's be for real. In a quarter this year, this year when the quarterback position is so bad, are we sure Deshaun's not top 10? I mean, obviously you got Mahomes, you got Hurts, you got Allen, you got Joe Burrow, you got Tua, you got Herbert, you got Lawrence. I mean, that's seven right there. I mean, are we gonna put Dak in the top 10? I mean, C.J. Stroud, I mean, I guess you could put C.J. Stroud's definitely in there. Kurt is gone. Derek Carr's trash, beyond horrible. Tannehill's out. Kenny Pickett's garbage. Brock Purdy, that hype train is gone. Are we sure Deshaun is not a top-10 quarterback right now? Oh, I forgot about Lamar. I don't know how I forgot about Lamar. Lamar's in, so that's eight quarterbacks. So number nine and number 10 can be C.J. Stroud and Deshaun Watson. I mean, because let's be for real. Does anybody really consider Dak a top 10 quarterback? Does anybody consider Dak a top 10 quarterback? And even if you want to put Dak in the top 10, okay, you got to put Deshaun in there. And I listen, I love C.J. Stroud. But C.J. Stroud, I mean, Deshaun has a better record than C.J. Stroud. And shout out to C.J. Stroud for being the Bengals. So you got to put Deshaun in there over C.J. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Even if you don't want to put Deshaun in the top 10, which I think you should put him in the top 10, he's at least top 15, maybe even top 13, maybe even maybe even number 11. Maybe he's just outside the top 10. But people need to give Deshaun his credit. People need to give Deshaun and the Cleveland Browns their credit. This team is going to the playoffs. Now, Grant, are they going to win the division? Well, you never know. They could win the division. They could. I mean, they're not out of it. They just beat. Uh, they just beat Baltimore. I think Baltimore beat them at home, and then they went to Baltimore and beat Baltimore at home. So they didn't even get swept. They beat the Bengals already. Are we sure they can't beat the Bing- beat the Bengals again? Now, granted, it's in Cincinnati, which is going to be hard, a hard test. But at the same time, I mean, anything's possible. Anything's possible. Are you sure they can't sneak into that, that seventh seed? For all we know is this. We know who's going to the playoffs. We know the Ravens. We know the Chiefs. We know Jacksonville. They're going to win their divisions. They're going to win their divisions. Cincinnati's most likely going to get in there, unfortunately. Are we sure the Bills are going to make the playoffs? Bills are looking very, very shaky right now. Bills are looking very, very, very shaky right now. I think they're out of the playoff hunt right now. Even even if they're not, the Browns still have a better record than them. The Chargers, you can forget about it. Who's going to trust Justin Herbert and Brandon Staley? I mean, the Texans could sneak in there. If they keep winning, they could. But at the same time, I mean, Cleveland is looking like a good team, which I predicted. I predicted Cleveland and Deshaun Watson was going to have a comeback season, which Deshaun Watson for the last three games has thrown over 200 yards and uh, has bowled out. He's bowled out and starting to make plays. Deshaun Watson is looking like he's starting to get his feet under him. He's starting to get into uh, Kevin Stavinsky's uh, offense. He's connecting his receivers. Now, granted, I think the Browns need to go get another receiver. I don't know who, but I do think they need to give Deshaun another weapon. And by the way, Ford, uh, Jer- uh, Jerome Ford, number 34, is put in with the balance of Kareem Hunt. It's looking amazing. If, imagine if they had Nick Chubb. Imagine if they had Nick Chubb. They might be leading the division right now. But at the end of the day, man, listen, look. Deshaun Watson deserves his credit. I know Deshaun Watson, you know, people don't like him. You know, it is what it is. But as a football player, I'm still rooting for Deshaun Watson. I always liked Deshaun Watson um, at Clemson. You know, even though I was a Florida State fan, I always loved Deshaun Watson at Clemson. But at the same time, man, what's done is done. Deshaun Watson deserves a second chance, and he's 6-3. and three. He's 6-3, and three. and he's been bowling out the last three games. So give the man his credit. Give the man his uh, credit. He's still elite. He's still going to get better. And the Browns are looking like they're going to go to the playoffs. And, hey, that Browns defense is amazing. You never know what they can do in the playoffs. But that's my thoughts, man. What are yours? Let me know if you're a Cleveland Browns fan. There's a lot of Cleveland Browns fans who came on comment section who said, you know, we appreciate appreciate that. And there's a lot of people who hate the Cleveland Browns who hate the Cleveland Browns who came on comment section. But give Deshaun his credit. I know the media, I know the mainstream media is not going to. I know a lot of other people, unless you're a Browns fan or a Browns content creator, you're most likely not going to give him his credit. But I'm going to give him his credit because I'm rooting for Deshaun and I hope he proves the haters wrong. RJ out.